It's confident computing number 821. How long should I keep my backups? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com for our 821st edition of Confident Computing. This week's featured article answers that question. How long should you keep the backups you create? And of course you are creating backups, right? So the question is actually an interesting one simply because there's no single answer. While I do have a rule of thumb that I think works well for most consumers, very often your needs may actually vary somewhat outside of that box. So how long should I keep my backups is an article worth reviewing so that you can come up with a pragmatic solution for how long you keep your backups, knowing that they'll be there when you need them. Why am I not getting the email newsletter I signed up for. Yep, this is a problem that a lot of people face when they sign up for various forms of email newsletters. There are several things that may be at play. There are also several steps that you might be able to take to stack the deck in your favor to make sure you're getting the newsletters you want, like this one, Confident Computing. How do I find out who owns an email address? Well, this is a tough one. I hear from people frequently who are being contacted or even harassed via email, and they desperately want to find out who it is that's sending them this harassing email. The problem, of course, is that it's not that simple. The same things that keep your information private so that people aren't randomly trying to find out who you are also protects the people that are at the other end of their email address. How do I find out who owns an email address, reviews why that is, and what your options really are? Do you ever turn on your computer and nothing happens? I mean, absolutely nothing, or maybe some lights start flickering, but it ever, never actually boots. That's what this week's article, my computer does nothing when turned on, how do I fix it, tries to cover. Naturally, there are a lot of different things that could lead to that result, but I wanna cover the most common, the most basic, or in some cases, some of the most easily overlooked reasons that that kind of scenario can happen. On YouTube this week, of course, there are videos supporting all of the articles that I've just discussed. There's also a new one, I know my password is right, and I still can't sign in. What do I do? This is in direct response to a very common scenario that I hear from people. They are absolutely positively convinced that they have typed in the correct username and more importantly, the correct password, and yet it doesn't work. That's not a good sign. It really means that that password you think you are convinced is absolutely right, it's not, no matter how much you protest. Finally, on video this week, I published the edited version of the Ask Leo Live overview of Gmail from a week and a half ago. It was a very interesting time. It was a, one of my longer sessions, and I think we covered a lot of different features and functionality in Gmail that a lot of Gmail users either don't realize is there or don't understand exactly what it's intended to do. This week on the TEH podcast, Gary and I talk about, well, the lifetime value of a computer. He's replacing one of his primary machines, and I talk about how one of my primary machines from 12 years ago is still serving me well down in the basement doing a new job. I'm also expanding the storage on my primary machine, and in one case, how we're fighting a problem of data transfer using what might be considered old technology. We talk a little bit about space, we talk about Harley Quinn, and I share a podcast episode where the author of Pearls Before Swine, Stefan Pastis, is interviewed and I found incredibly fascinating. A quick heads up before I go, I've decided that it's time to remove several of the books I have for sale in the Ask Leo store. The reason is very simple. I'm starting to get more and more uncomfortable with how out of date they are. They're still useful, but it's like I said, it's just one of those things that's very slowly making me feel a little bit more reluctant to feel good about selling them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off the shelf at the end of the month. So on September the 1st, they won't be available anymore. If and when I do finally update them, which I actually don't have the time to do right now, 
even if you do end up purchasing one of these older versions of the book, you'll still get updates for life. If the book gets revised after you purchased it at any time, you'll have free access or included access to the digital updates in your askleo.com account. But like I said, it's just one of those things where I think the time to take these books off the shelf has come, and that's going to happen at the end of the month. If you do decide you want to grab them before they're gone, make sure to use the code that's at the bottom of every newsletter to get yourself a discount. It's down there in every emailed version of the newsletter towards the end. That's it for Confident Computing number 821, How Long Should I Keep My Backups? I hope you're doing well. Please stay safe, be kind, and I will see you again next week. Take care.